What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Two years ago, popular actress Gabby Sidibe announced her engagement to her longtime boyfriend, Brandon Frankel. Now, he is a music industry executive. He's also very, very white. And I remember two years ago when this happened, people were making uh, some fun of, of, of the couple. They look very um, unique as a couple. But this brought me to another uh, way of thought because Gabby Sidibe was in Precious in 2009. I believe she's part Senegalese, part African-American. I'm not sure. But if you look at Gabby Sidibe, and I'm not poking fun here at all. But most most people in black America would not say, well, Gabby Sidibe is a beauty queen. We would, we would honestly say that. Now, I will say that it seems that as she's gotten older, she has become um, more attractive than before. But still, I would say that most guys would be like, well, you know, um, they would have their own personal feelings about what her appearance is. I'll leave it at that. However, Gabby Sidibe has done with 99% of black women have not done in America, who many people would assume are better looking than her. Number one, she's married outside of her race. And number two, a man who makes a lot of money outside of the race. And we would assume that, that this guy would have other dating options, but he chose her. So the question is why? And and she's been, you know, going on bridal magazines, talking about she doesn't want to wear a traditional dress. She's going to have it different. She's going to be unconventional. But the question is why? Because number one, she has two things against her. Would be number one, her skin tone. She's very African looking, very black looking. Right? She has African features. I have them too. Many of us have them. And she has dark skin. If you go on social media, on any network, you will see black women um, in the diaspora complaining about colorism. Black men don't want us because of colorism. White men don't want us because of colorism, okay? And then you will talk about body shaming. She is uh, a bigger woman. And uh, you hear a lot about that. Well, black men or white men, whatever, body shaming. Okay, so she has two if we're using the words of, of, of sisters out there, she has two things going against her. But the question is, how did she overcome it? How is she getting married? And you have women who are drop dead, gorgeous, intelligent in the black community, and they are not. I, I can tell you. Because she has skills as a woman that other ladies do not have relatively uh, she, or, or she's really doesn't talk a lot. She's not so much opinionated on things. She seems to be a very feminine one woman. I can assure you that she's a, a very catering woman. And I don't believe that's because of her weight. I believe that's because of her nature and she is intentional about what her goals were in a relationship. She is intentional about what she wanted to achieve. Now, here you have ladies who say, we need to leave the black man alone and go get the white man. And I dare any of y'all who say that you do this to prove to me that you have a man on her level. I can, I can, I can believe that you don't. Why? Because she's actively positioning herself to be around the kind of men that she could possibly date. A lot of ladies in black America said they want to get a white man. You are nowhere near where successful white men are at. Or black men for that matter. If you do see you with the white man, he's the white man that hang around black people. 
it, it's not the white guy from Boise, Idaho, or the guy that went to Stanford. No, you're not. You're not even around those kinds of people, so you can't even be introduced to that. So you're not even seeing sisters marry high value white guys that are beautiful. But you're seeing this young lady get this white man who is on a high level. The the fundamental question remains, why? And we got to go back to colorism and weight shaming. Okay, is it true that some people won't like you because you're dark skinned? Absolutely. Is it true that some men won't like you because you're overweight? Absolutely. However, what can help you? Being around the right people can help you. Because as much as there are men that don't like somebody who's big, the, some men, it doesn't matter to them. And if you're a woman and you're okay with dealing with a man that might be a little shorter, or you have some leeway in what you're willing to accept, your range is more. I don't think the guy is really so tall. He might not even be a big man but she's willing to negotiate on other factors, which makes her range more wide. So many sisters have very small reach as to their network, as to who they know, but your standards are very high and where you really, you're not willing to negotiate on what you're looking for. Well, in the case, this is what she did, okay? She's actively positioning herself amongst people in the industry, her industry, people that she can meet up with using the good qualities that she has to appeal to the opposite sex and working on those skills. Whereas women who are very beautiful, I believe that sometimes they feel that those skills are not important. Just me being beautiful is very important. And I'm, I'll tell you this, that's not gonna cut it. Even here on YouTube, you can be a very charismatic YouTuber be very funny, but that is not gonna get you to a long-term position on this platform. You have to be skilled. You have to read analytics, just like in basketball. You can be very athletic, but at some point you gotta have a mid-range jumper. Now you gotta have a three-pointer. Now you gotta be able to defend. There are other skills, there are other things you have to develop to stay in the league. Otherwise, you get sent home. And a lot of ladies have natural abilities and looks and physicality, but those things are not developing for you as far as a skill set. Your skill set as a woman. Do you know how to make a man feel good? Do you have wisdom? Do you know how to effectively communicate? Some of these things women don't even think is important. They feel that a man should just deal with them where they are. And then the reality is, is that guys may never tell you this, but that's not, that's not what most guys who have options are going to do. If a guy has an option to deal with somebody that has less issues, he's going to do that. So if you don't develop your skills as a woman, and that means as catering to your partner, just like men have to do it, you are not going to ever have a high value mate. You'll go on a few dinners and trips, but you won't be able to get a high value because some woman will do that. Some woman is actively working on their skills, especially women from other communities, women from Africa, women from, from in, we know the Latin community, the, the Asian community, they're telling their kids, work on this. As a woman, you must do this, 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 this for your man. How are you gonna compete against that? I mean, Gabby shows that looks are not as important as you think. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm out.